so my name is Joseph Costello. I'm 22 years old and I'm a YouTuber slash entrepreneur. Confidence matter. Can you be with a man that has zero confidence? No! no. What went wrong with your first love? My first love, he was a f***ing amateur and just retarded. How old were you and how old was he? 16 and 18. You turned you off about women. My pet peeve about women is when um, they just are... Come on, get it out. Like whenever they don't want a loving relationship with me, like whenever, whenever they don't... Whenever they don't care about my feelings and whenever they don't like appeal to my emotions, you know? Alright, somebody's a little hurt, man. We should, can y'all get him off 6th Street? He might be a little sad. I just started making videos because uh, when I was a little kid, I had a really like uh, VHS camera and I'd always film stuff on it and replay it on the TV. And it just it traveled with me through high school. I just always wanted to make videos and senior year, that's when I took it seriously, so I just kept making videos, yeah. My parents left for Brazil for like a month, and they only left me like $250 for food for the whole month, and I was like 16 years old. And I went on Craigslist and I hired this video guy and this audio guy, and we went down to the drag, and I filmed like three videos, and I paid them all the money I had for food for the whole month. And I went home and edited the videos, and they started getting a lot of views like within Austin and the schools and stuff. So that was enough motivation for me to keep going. I think seriously, like trying to get subscribers, it's, it's taken like three years. I have 628,000 subscribers. The biggest struggle, <clears throat> bad management with money skills. As soon as I would get um, money, I would always spend it, always on the most ridiculous stuff and that held me back in a lot of ways from just not being able to grow. Um, I was always good at making money, but I was never good at, at, at keeping it. So now that I fixed that, it's, uh, it's better. It gets hard because you don't, you've been doing it for so long and you like want to stay up with what's hot. So I'm constantly having to like evolve and adapt. So probably just uh, trying out new things and seeing what works. I'm gonna go to China, Germany, like all those countries and do like, Germans on American topics. It'd be really cool because then people from America would be like, this is what those people think of us, and then we'll see what they think.